Hi guys, I'm Nick at 034 Motorsport, and today we're gonna to talk about the PCV systems on the B9 and B9.5 Audi 3 liter, both in how they work and how you can detect if maybe yours is failing. First, we'll talk about the PCV system and what it means. So PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation. The system aims to reduce and remove any amount of positive air pressure inside of the crankcase and ventilate that air through your charge pipe system. So you'll see on the motor here, there is a block on the cylinder head that allows air to come out of the block and enter into the inlet and intake system, venting any positive pressure. There's two pathways in which the air from the crankcase exits and in, into the intake tract. The first, when cruising and under vacuum, is after the throttle body on the upper intake manifold. When you're under full boost, there is a check valve that closes the pathway from the intake plenum into the PCV system to prevent any boost pressure from entering into the crankcase. And instead, the PCV uses this secondary outlet where it's utilizing vacuum pressure that's being created from the front of the turbocharger. That's often why you'll see pooling of oil in your turbo inlet. Uh, this is due to the PCV system venting air through. So under normal operation, as I said, there are two ways in which the air will pass through. Coming out of the PCV block here into the upper intake plenum, and then under boost, this closes off and then exits through into the turbo inlet. Over the past few months and years, we have begun to see more cases of failure with the factory PCV systems on these cars. We've isolated these failures primarily down to the hose itself and the check valve that is supposed to close when under boost pressure. So when this system begins to fail, boost pressure can then enter into the crankcase and into the engine itself where it's very much not supposed to belong. Once the diaphragm within the PCV system has failed, boost pressure from the intake manifold can then enter into the engine and the crankcase system entirely. There are a few key symptoms that you can see within the engine bay and in the parts of the PCV system to determine if yours has failed. First, you may notice a buildup of oil seepage around the oil cap or beneath the PCV plate here between the head and the PCV. Another symptom of the failure can actually be the oil cap itself loosening and blowing off of the PCV block itself. Because the boost pressure is concentrated into the PCV block first, the pressure is going to take the route of least resistance. And due to an inherent issue within how this PCV block is designed, the oil cap does not have a very strong positive interlock to the system. Therefore, when boost pressure begins to force underneath it, it can actually come loose and remove itself from the vehicle. This can lead to very serious uh, further damages of oil entering into your engine bay and potentially even catching fire as happened to us on our own development test vehicle. You can see that more in our Ashes to Asphalt YouTube video. We have seen these PCV hoses fail on modified and stock tuned vehicles. There's actually a factory TSB out for this specific hose failing in stock situations. So how can you make sure if your system is currently working? Well, there's a really easy step. So we can start by removing the hose system from the engine and conducting one simple test. So here I have two PCV hoses, one of which has failed and one of which is new and intact. So a quick and easy way to determine if the check valve within your PCV hose is functioning is to remove the hose from the vehicle entirely and simply check to see if that system holds pressure. What you will want to do, probably clean off the opening with a rag first, uh, is blow into the smaller of the two hoses and see if it holds pressure. If it does not hold pressure and you hear and feel air flowing out of the other side, then the check valve within the hose has failed. If it does hold pressure and your mouth balloons up, then this PCV valve, the check valve is operating properly and has not failed. So simple test, come through, has not failed, works just fine. Then another one, 
blows directly through. So this PCV has failed. This check valve on the inside of this hose is no longer holding the boost pressure closed and is now letting it enter into the engine. This other one has not failed and is holding the pressure properly. Currently, in order to buy a replacement PCV hose, Audi sells it with the factory plastic turbo inlet as one component. Uh, they claim that this is a single use clip. We've not found that to be the case at this point. However, the long-term solution will be to upgrade to a catch can system that replaces this PCV hose with a stronger overall check valve. We at 034 Motorsport are coming out with a substantive catch can kit that addresses this issue entirely while still retaining both inlets for the PCV system. Uh, current PCV kits on the market actually cap off the high side pressure uh, outlet, which means that the crankcase is not under negative vacuum under light cruising. This defeats many of the purposes of the PCV system to evacuate pressurized air from the crankcase. Uh, so we felt it was necessary to keep that implemented within our current designs and future designs while still implementing a more robust check valve system. The catch can that will then come in line will catch any and all oil blow-by that could make it through the PCV system before it could enter into your turbo inlet, pre preventing any oil burn-off or excess oil use. Be on the lookout for more news and updates on that upcoming product, and if you have any questions on how to check your systems on your car, or any other things about your Audi 3 liter, or any of your Audi and Volkswagens, feel free to hit us up in the comments below, or email us at contact at 034motorsport.com.